At the very beginning of this story, we have neglected all work Adiyan Nambai, who was familiar to us for a while. We apologize to Nair and Nambai for that. Mainly we have to ask Nambai's forgiveness now. Because all work Adian is very angry now. In front of him the Kutumi is flying in the wind blowing on the shore of Ramaswaram. His arm is swinging above his head. Many Adi Saivas and Vira Saivas surround him. As their protest is strong, we are a little worried about the fate of all work Adian. However, Nambai's Narasimha avatar and the speed with which he can spin his wand allays that concern. All were Kadayan, who overheard what Van Diathavan and Iliaprathi were talking about, left Palyara on the same day. Vayu Velekamano went towards the south. Nowhere along the way did he get into a Saiva Vaishnava fight. Controlling his mind so as not to let things come to an end, he pushed aside even the quarrels that arose and walked away. He stayed in Madurai for some time. There he inquired and learned the news he wanted to know and left for Ramaswaram. On the evening of the same day that Van Diathavan went to Bungazali's boat and landed on the island of Sri Lanka, Alwar Kadayan came to Ramaswaram and joined him. As soon as he set foot on that holy land, the Vaishnava passion that had been pent up in Alwar Kadayan's mind broke out and burst into flames. Vera Siva Butters, who were sweeping everywhere in Ramaswaram Island, have given incense to that passion. Their duties are to guide the pilgrims who come to the holy place and bathe them in the tear that's, to have darshan of the idols in the temple, and to tell the specialties of the respective the that's. Therefore, when they see new pilgrims many Bhattaras go and surround them. In the same way, they gathered around Alvar Kadayan. Father! Come! Come! Bathe in the sixty-four turdhas of this place and wash away the Vaishnava idols worn on your body. Isn't this the place where Rama got rid of his Brahmahatha Dasha? You can also get rid of the sins caused by wearing the Vaishnava idols. Said a butter sarcastically. Another person interrupted, There are sixty-four the other that's like Rama Thirtha, Lakshmana Thirtha, Anjania Thirtha, and Sagriva Thirtha. Each of them immersed their heads in their respective the other that's and got rid of their sins. You come with me to the Anjania Thirtha first. I will make a proper sang galpam for the Vaishnava small dasha. Said. Another Batar said, Father. Do not listen to what they are saying. I am going to take you straight to the place where Rama worshipped Shivalingam by holding the sea sand to get rid of Brahmahadi dasha who killed Ravana. Ashwarkadian looked at everyone once with a spark in his eye and said, Stop your ridiculous talk. First, Untie your tongue and atone for your sin with the solutions you said. He said. Oh. Do you think we have sinned because we said Rama and Lakshmana? Nothing like that. The name of this place is Ramakuvaram, the place where Rama worshipped Lord Shiva and got rid of sin. And the evil in the name of Rama is gone. Said Avir Saiva Butter. Oh ignorant Chiron Mani. Why are you shaking your head like this? You don't know the meaning of this place name. You said so, let's see. Shiva got Brahmahadi Dasha because he took off one of Brahma's heads. Shiva came to this holy place by touching the feet of Rama Paran, the perfect incarnation of Tirumala, and got rid of the Brahmahadi Dasha. The name Rameshwaram came from the place where Lord Rama was worshipped. Did you know, Mudasakamani bought Teras? All were Kadian roared. Whoa! He's going to cover us up? What a stick! What kind of horn are you? A butter hissed. No, sir, father. I have not grown a horn on my head, this horn is in my hand. You asked me who I am? I will tell you. Servant of the servant of Namashwar, who incarnated in Thirkurakar and made the Vedas Tamil. He is the handmaiden who scrapes the skulls of others. He raised his stick. Alvarkadi Arkkadi Ya. Why do you have a kudumi on the front of your head? If that too is blunted, the inside and outside of your skull will be one. Said a cyber. Butters. I had thought to come to this holy place and take away the kutumi before me. Then you reminded me. I. Go to Navidar Street and fetch a Navidar. Tell him to bring a well-sharpened knife. 
let's tell him to pull out his hair with a nail. Said a butter. Shall I call Navitan for this? Shall we do the work ourselves? Bring a good sharp knife. Said another Psy War. Wait a minute, there is one more thing left. At one time my hair was thick all over my head. I took a fast to break the skull of a Saiva and take a hair from my hair. Accordingly, three quarters of the hair is gone. I am going to complete my fast in this town and throw myself into the sea. Where? Each of you show your skull and let's see. All Workadian waved his staff. Damn! What the hell is this Vaishnava talking about? Someone said. Crack all our skulls? Can you? Said another. Isn't it possible that I have taken three quarters and a quarter of the hair? Saying that, all Workadian started spinning the rod rapidly. Hit. Grab. Bind. Cut. No one in the crowd came close to all Workadian except for shouting that. At that time, a slogan that arose very recently caught the attention of all of them. Anirutap Brahmamadi Raja, the great first minister of Tribhuvana Emperor Sundarashola Paranthagar, is coming. Barag. Barag. Everyone was stunned and looked in the direction of the chant. All Workadian looked on with his staff in his hand, most stunned of all. The place where they stood and fought was a rampart on the side of the Rameswara temple wall. After turning that ridge, the vast sea spread out in front. The view of the sea was a sight to behold. Huge trees, canoes, small ships, boats, rivers, canals, vats and trees were seen in rows and rows as far as the eye could see. The white sheets that fluttered from the sails and fluttered in the wind mostly obscured the sea and the sky and the many islands that appeared dotted in the distance. While the policemen were going back and forth saying Keishang as above, the famous first minister of the Chola Empire was coming in a boat with Anvil Anirutha Brahmariya Raja Gampira. On the bank, he noticed the brawl going on by the side of the temple wall. In the middle of the crowd, he beckoned all Workadian, who was standing like a Paramasadu with a staff in his hand. All Workadian reverently folded his hands and stood by the beach. Tirumala. What street furniture is this? said Anurudha. Guru. It's all the trickery of that bogus play master Conan. I don't know whether to believe what I'm seeing with my eyes or not. Is what I'm seeing a dream? Or is it all just an illusion? Thirumalai. I thought you were a supreme Vaishnava. When did you become an illusionist who called the universe an illusion? Guru. Shouldn't I become my mystic when those incarnated in the supreme Vaishnava lineage become Saiva Samayas? I change my name and become the servant of Sri Shankara Bhagavat Padakarya. Wait. Wait. Who said I became a vegetarian? The symbols on their trinkets tell. A.G.A. Thirumalai. You are still the same as before, giving importance to external signs. What if you put the sandalwood on your forehead at an angle? What if you put it upright? Master. I am ignorant. I do not know what is important and what is important. You must enlighten me and control me. I will make everything clear. Come to my lodgings. There. See a small island in the sea? Come to the hall there. Master. Here are these quarrelsome saivas to come to me. All Workadian said and pointed at them with his hand. The valiant saivas, who had been idle till then, immediately approached. Brahmadi Raja. This Vaishnava will break our skulls. He must be punished. Someone started. The others talked head to head. I will punish him. You may go, said Anuradhar. They were not satisfied with this. Shouldn't we punish him ourselves? We should destroy his family, destroy all his religious symbols, put him in a well and drown him. Said one person. What did you say? All Workadian looked back with fire in his eyes. Anirutha Brahmariya then said, Butter money. This is a great scoundrel. You cannot punish him. I will take care of it. Then he looked at the soldiers of the inner retinue in the boat that had followed him and said, Come down, eight of you, and bring him to us. 
said. That's it. In another moment eight of the soldiers jumped ashore, they surrounded Alvarkadian. The boat went up. He went to Alvarkadian surrounded by soldiers. The Bhattars and the others dispersed, talking variously about the rudeness of the Vaishnava.